Hello student. I am an EH tutor. I welcome you to the digital world of English learning. It is exciting, interactive and easy. Let me start with our classroom technology Zillion. This is Zillion's whiteboard. This is similar to the whiteboard we used in our school days. The tutor writes, draws and deletes like this. Let me now show you a sample of how we teach vocabulary. Uh, hello Meeta. Hello ma'am. Meeta, can you see this picture slide on your monitor? Yes ma'am, I can see. Okay, Meeta, tell me what is number E? I mean, what do you think it is? Ma'am, it's some um, uh, uh, sticks. Some in in some sticks. Uh, yes, Mita, it is called incense stick. Oh, I'm okay. I'm writing the spelling on the whiteboard. I N C E N S E. Okay, uh, incense. Okay, incense stick. Right, absolutely right. So, Mita, this is how we are going to help you with your vocabulary by showing you pictures. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, now let me come to the next slide. Uh, what can you see here? Um, uh, amber? Vocabulary? Okay, absolutely right. Can you read the second last word? Amber. Very nice. So, do you know the meaning of amber? Amber means uh, too much. Uh, right, too much or a better word would be sufficient. Okay, ma'am, sufficient. Plenty, sufficient, you mean that one? Yes, Mika, absolutely right. Would you like to try a sentence with ample? Okay, um, I have ample of knowledge to share with my friends. Very good, Mika. Now, here you can uh, avoid the usage of of. I have ample knowledge to share with my friends. Okay, ma'am. Okay, Mita. Now, let me take you to the other slide, the next one. Uh, it's a grammar slide. So, you know that grammar is the backbone of English. So, we take up grammar whenever we feel that you require it. Now, uh, I want you to read the third sentence. Okay. Um... Are you sitting in the gym all day yesterday? Uh, yesterday, Mita. What do you mean by yesterday? Ma'am, yesterday means yesterday, uh, which is gone. Yes, the time which has gone, right? So, or we can say that you are talking about past. Okay, ma'am. Past tense, you mean? Okay. Yes, Mita. Okay, ma'am. So, here do you think you will use are or were? Okay, were ma'am, were. Yes, Mita. So, the sentence would be, were you sitting in the gym all day yesterday? Okay, okay, I understood ma'am. Okay, ma'am, that means if we use are, then instead of yesterday, it will be today? Yes, Mita. Yes, absolutely correct. Okay, thank you ma'am. It's very clear now. Okay, now let us move to the main part that is the spoken English. As I told you earlier that we focus a lot on speaking. So, I'm going to give you a topic and I would like you to speak for 2 to 3 minutes on that particular topic. Okay ma'am. Uh, and I'll also be giving you two words associated with this topic. Number one is stringent. Okay, ma'am. And the second word is lethargic. Okay, ma'am. Do you know the meanings of these two words? Uh, yes, ma'am, I do. Okay. So, I want you to speak on problems that India is facing nowadays and try to use these two words when you are speaking on it. Okay, ma'am. Um... Ma'am, like, uh, can I talk about the crimes happening in India? Yes, Meeta, you can, because that is one of the problems. 
Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I think um, the Indian government are not doing us uh, much, you know, about the crimes. They are not, uh, so many crimes are happening, and but they are not removing the crimes. And, but they are not removing the crime. So, um, and because, you know, the, we don't have any stringent rules against, uh, those crimes. And I think our, um, our government, they are too lethargic and they don't really, uh, go about, uh, you know, uh, taking actions. They then have the tendency to procrastinate. They are just busy about making money. And, uh, Yes. Very good, Meeta. Very nice. You spoke very well. So, grammatically, I did not find any mistake. But at two places, I'll give you some good vocabulary related to those two places. Uh, at one place, you said remove. Okay? So, instead of remove, you can use a better word, eradicate. Okay? The government should try to eradicate the crime. Okay, ma'am. At another place, you said that the politicians are making money. So, instead of making, a better word would be minting money. Did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so minting means um, making money. It's the same thing? Right, Meeta. Absolutely right. So, now uh, you have learned four new vocabulary words today. Can you repeat this? Yes, ma'am. Uh, minting and uh, eradicate and amber. Yes, and stringent and liturgic. Right. Not four, five. Yes. Okay. Yes, five, ma'am. Okay. So, thank you so much, Meeta. Thank you, ma'am. I enjoyed the uh, demo. We help you think in English through our specially designed programs. I invite you to join EH classes so you can become more fluent and articulate. Before I go, let us recap what we saw. We help you think in English through Role plays Vocabulary building exercises Speaking practice sessions listening exercises, all on our interactive learning platform, Zillion. So, what are you waiting for? Join this scientific course today.